Hello, my name is Jim Craig. I'm the President and uh, CEO of SOTEC Special Operations Technologies and I developed a system called Tempest, the Tactical Mission Planning Set, and I'd like to describe it to you today. Basically, we uh, developed this system uh, originally so we could identify the outsides of our backpack so that uh, soldiers in the field could identify what's the contents inside of the packs just by looking at a symbol attached to the outside. But we also noticed, uh, because of my uh, experience as a military officer, uh, that uh, the uh, small unit leaders did not have an adequate set of symbology so that they could uh, um, do their uh, training, their operational planning, or their after action review using a unified symbol set. Unified to me applies to uh, a symbol set that, unit, uh, that members of other units and um, people of other agencies would be able to recognize. I created the symbol set um, uh, with the intent of being able to use it both in the uh, classroom, uh, where you could take the uh, symbols and mark them on a board or use the magnets and attach them to a magnetized dry erase board. Uh, thus, instructors could instruct small unit attacks, uh, tactics. Uh, law enforcement instructors could in instruct in riot control um, and uh, SWAT tactics and other similar uh, tactics. For operators actually in the field, we didn't intend them to carry the uh, entire board system with them. Uh, but for uh, small unit military uh, leaders, we designed the system so you could take uh, maybe 10 or 15 of these tiled magnets and drop them in your pocket. And then when you get to the field, you could throw them down onto a sand table and give a uh, uh, accurate depiction of where you are and where you want your troops to be uh, for an action that you're about to describe. I had also uh, set design the uh, system with the intent of this being used for the after action review. Reporting into your command staff as to what you did and where you went, this gives a very accurate, universally understood uh, set of symbols uh, to denote the action that took place. Uh, we developed the system I, uh, based off the standard military system, which uh, denotes an automatic rifleman as having an arrow. Uh, the uh, military also has a slash for the light machine gun. Um, a couple extra slashes to denote a rocket launcher, but there was no de denotion for command staff. So I added a uh, star, meaning the uh, compass star, uh, to denote a commander. Three hash marks on the uh, uh, arrow to denote a platoon sergeant. Two uh, hash marks on the arrow to denote a squad leader. And one hash mark to denote a team leader. Uh, we also uh, supply the uh, system with four markers. Um, the a blue marker can uh, be applied creating a slash uh, denoting uh, blue force. A red marker can uh, be applied uh, creating a slash denoting red force. Um, depending on the organization, you may want to uh, put call signs, uh, initials, um, or call numbers um, on each individual tile to denote uh, personnel um, by their name or by their serial number. This system can be used in, in total. Uh, a handful of these can be used just to reduce weight. This can be laid um, uh, on a, uh, the hood of a squad car or a Humvee. There are rings at the corners so you can attach a uh, um, 550 cord and hang it. Um, the system can um, simply be uh, used by uh, tossing on dirt or you can uh, use it on a large magnetic board. Um, we're always open for suggestions and we're looking for uh, ways to improve this system and it is currently uh, being uh, considered for use by um, training uh, systems and units um, in the United States Army and throughout law enforcement. Thank you very much.